Today I'm going to work on installing a depth finder in a, a 2009 Bayliner 175. Uh, they have very limited space. So I ended up finding a, um, I believe it's about a two and a half inch uh, faced gauge from Hawkeye, which comes with both a white and a black face. Um, looks like a pretty nice unit, very entry level I'd say. I think they're about 100 bucks, $120 online. Um, they come with all sorts of great accessories though, which is kind of nice. Uh, very limited space on the boat to put these things. You're going to have to drill a hole. You're going to need a two inch pull saw, some masking tape, and then the guts to just punch a hole in your boat. But uh, I'll show you some of the pieces parts. We're going to need a two part slow cure epoxy is what they recommend. Um, this one takes so 24 hours. I've used it on all kinds of different stuff from granite, wood, whatever. Um, I'll kind of show you where I'm thinking where we're going to put it at. This boat did have a depth finder before, so I'm going to kind of cheat off of where they have selected because it obviously worked, or hopefully it did anyways. Um, if it doesn't for some reason read accurately, you can remove the sensor. They recommend a block of wood and a hammer to tap against the sensor until it pops loose. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, I'll show you some of the pieces that come with it real quick, and then we'll get to putting it in. I think it's pretty neat, the accessories they send with, the different face cover and trim ring, white and black, also just a UV cover or whatever. Uh, very easy retainer for the gauge itself with a, with a thumb screw, I'm sorry, it's right here. Uh, the sensor, pretty small, should be pretty easy to mount. Um, definitely going to be cleaning up the surface before we do anything with the epoxy. Um, yeah, other than that, there is the kit to go through hole, which I thought was kind of nice. And one other thing took me a second to figure out what it was. They give you this extension piece. So if your dash is really thick, you can extend the stud to mount in the dash. So pretty complete kit. I think it's gonna be a very quick install. I'm gonna select a place up on the uh, dash panel here quick and get it taped off. About the only place you're gonna put it is to the left of the steering wheel. Um, there is a curve, so just feel up behind. And the nice part is that this retaining ring is about the same diameter as the actual gauge face itself. So it's pretty easy to use for mock-up. So it should be somewhere about there when it's all said and done. It'll be easy to see. I've seen somebody else try to put it back over here or whatever. I don't understand why you do that. Even if the sticker is in your way, uh, peel it off. <laughs> I'm not worried about keeping it original. I don't do that with anything, so. Okay. All right, I got my hole. I'm gonna put a little uh, cardboard down, plastic down, something like that, because uh, fiberglass makes a hell of a mess. Uh, anytime I work with fiberglass, you're gonna wanna put a dust mask on as well. I'll get this hole punched and uh, hopefully gel coat doesn't get chipped up or anything. See, that wasn't so scary now, was it? <laughs> what you end up with? Nice clean cut hole. I can handle that. And it even fits. What you know about that? Cool. Easy enough. I'll, uh, Start to working on mounting that sending unit. We'll lock this bad boy into place and I'll grab a power and ground. I'll see if I can't get underneath the dash here and show you where I'm gonna pull that from. 
good news in my case anyways is that they uh, like I said had a depth finder already installed it is to the a very far right switch through the dash and the ground block is right here so all I have to do is tie in power there which this looks like a, a factory switch so I'm guessing they give you a extra one that's always the fun part about guessing on used stuff but uh, otherwise there's obviously some terminals you can tie into there or you could tap into anything that's keyed on any of these gauges it's so wide open and easy to get to so I'm gonna make my power and ground connections um, I installed really nice right before the curvature of the fiberglass and with it actually locked into place that's what she's gonna look like I think it's gonna be pretty slick now there is a flat spot which is fairly easy to get to right in front of this hose that's where i'm going to put it i'm going to take a bit of sandpaper and get as flat as i can i'll get some like 80 grit or something to knock it down um put it in place and i'm gonna put a piece of tape over the top of it anyways the uh you can see in there there is an old one actually still mounted right here so i'll just leave that cut it off that's where I'm gonna mount it. Um, instructions say for, uh, make sure that's not double walled or anything like that, which this is just a single wall and this is the only flat piece, everything else is kind of contoured. So that's kind of where you have to put it. Um, I'll get that sanded down quick, get it cleaned up and get some epoxy on it. One thing I wasn't able to find, um, there is a shape on this. I'm guessing it's for hole mount. You know, this be facing forward to catch the water coming at it. I don't think it matters which way, but that's how I'm going to install it. This almost looks like a boat, so I will be pointing this forward. And hopefully, I'm guessing correctly, but I doubt that it matters which way, but that was just one thing I was kind of looking at. Couldn't find any instructions or anything like that. That was pretty simple. Took a uh, four inch uh, sander, body sander, just hit it quick and covered it really good. You also want to push it down and twist to get all the air bubbles out. That's easy enough. I'm uh, just gonna tie off the excess. I mean, they give you <laughs> like 30 feet way too much, but that's all right. Got her done, got her wired. Everything turned out pretty nice and clean. Very easy install, do not be afraid. Worst part's just drilling the hole, but stick some masking tape down and call it a day. Uh, probably pull it back and put a little bit of silicone around the back side of it but other than that it's not going anywhere and i really think that's going to be a handy spot i'll get her all fired up and get out to the water maybe do a video on some functions and see how it actually works driving uh, we got a lake here that we take it out on no rivers or anything so i'm not sure exactly what the depth is they claim 300 feet but i'd be very surprised if it's that far mostly just want to make sure i'm not hitting sandbars or anything like that so so far pretty happy kit comes with everything installs very easy under an hour um i ask you the two inch hole saw and get to it thanks for watching